Hi everyone and welcome to this week's art gallery vlog in Budapest. This week we're starting at one of my favorite art gallery openings that I've ever been to. It was the most beautiful location and I didn't even realize how incredible it was going to be until I arrived. And this was actually the opening of a brand new gallery space. Um, so not only was it a new exhibition, it was a new opening for the space as well. And it's in this gorgeous um, castle in a park in Budapest. And it's actually in this building here. You go up the stairs and there's the gallery. And it shares a space. There's also a history museum right here. So you could combine your trips and see a couple different um, museums and galleries all right in this area. So as you can see, the space and the architecture was just absolutely beautiful. And it was a really busy opening, so that was really nice to see. Um, and this is actually showing works by two different artists. Attila Mata created these sculptures that you see, and Laszlo Sale did the paintings. And I thought these two worked really well together. Um, they're both very abstract art forms, even though one is painting and the other is sculpture. I thought it worked really well together to form like one cohesive exhibition. And I particularly like these paintings. Um, some of the titles were things like tango or dancers. And until you see these title names, maybe you don't um, look that closely at the artworks. But then once you see the titles, you can start to see these shapes emerging in the art themselves. And the next stop is Q Contemporary. And I had actually been really excited to go to this um, gallery art museum um, since I arrived in Budapest because they put on a lot of free exhibitions. And we went on a night where they actually had some of the artists talking about their art. It was in Hungarian, so I didn't understand a lot of it, but um, got to pick out a couple pieces of information. But basically, this show is um, a group show between five different artists. And it's actually quite interesting because... In most group shows, you have a piece that's done by an individual artist, and then they kind of combine for one show. But with this group, they actually collaborate on a lot of the pieces. So they kind of combine their skills and their styles, and it makes the space and this exhibition seem a bit more cohesive than a lot of other gr group shows might be. And throughout, you can definitely see this tie to technology. You can see there's some more digital works on these screens um, and the phones here as well. But even these kind of paintings and these prints, um, they also have this really strong tie to technology and digital. A lot of them also have these images from the internet or um, printed on images from like a Google Drive and things like this. And I should say that this is actually in the basement of Q Contemporary. Um, Q Contemporary is a contemporary art museum in Budapest. Um, like I said, they have free admission. And this area in the basement, they kind of keep just for emerging Hungarian and Eastern Central European artists. So it's a really nice space to provide for these more up and coming artists to show their work and expose their art to the public. In this exhibition, I also really liked how they designed the space, and you can see on these side walls, there's the artwork, but then there's also this kind of graphic print on the walls that seems to mirror some of the, the print that they have in the artwork as well. I felt like it was a very just cohesive space, and I think maybe combined with the fact that the works were a bit collaborative between all the artists, the space also kind of melded into their style as well, and it just felt like a beautiful escape <laughs> and you're just immersed in their art world. I'll make sure to list all of the artists names in the description below so you can see. Um, overall I was really impressed with this exhibition and we'll definitely be keeping an eye on Q Contemporary's future exhibitions because it seems like they put on really great shows. And next we're off to the art department. 
and this gallery is showing photographs by Gabriella Choso. So this exhibition is focused on um, photographs of social and political kind of uprisings and protests in Hungary since 2012. And the works by Gabriela Choso form this kind of photograph archive that this exhibition pulls from. And they'll actually be switching out these photographs throughout the exhibition. So as you go over the next few weeks, there could be different pieces on the wall and it's kind of this ever-changing selection. I think it's only natural when we see photographs like this um, to start making connections to the present day. And certainly right now, a lot of connections are made between the, the situation in Ukraine as well. And I think it's always interesting to see how this changes, how we look at the art. And the last exhibition for this week is a selection of works by Hungarian artist Haniko. And in this exhibition, she's honoring the Hungarian poet Magda Gutai. So each of these works are tied to one of her poems. And I think they're just so beautiful. They're very um, like simple, works on paper, cut collages. Um, and I think they have this kind of Japanese-inspired look with the perspective. It really reminded me of some of the uh, Japanese prints. And this exhibition was actually timed to honor the poet Magda Gutai, what would have been her 80th birthday. So the artist also created these little party favors to give out at the gallery. And inside each is a small selection of a poem by the poet herself. I thought this was a really beautiful exhibition and just the beautiful thought behind the work.